In this video, we'll talk about joint continuous distributions. We'll talk about joint probability density functions and expectation, marginal PDFs, independence, and how we go from discrete to continuous in the multivariate case. So if x and y are continuous random variables, their joint PDF is denoted f sub x and y of a and b. The joint range is the set of uh, points c, d, where the density at these two points is strictly positive. And note that if you do a double integral over all values of the density, the joint density, you will get 1. And also, the expected value of g of xy is g of st times the density function at s and t um, from negative infinity to infinity. So now I'll talk about marginal PDFs. So uh, the marginal PDF of x is very similar to the marginal PMF of x, where we just integrate over all possible values of y. Uh, similarly for y, if I want the marginal density, I would integrate over all values of x. And this is an extension where if I want the density of z, and there were a joint density with x and y and z, then I would integrate over all x and y. Uh, independence, so we say that continuous random variables x and y are independent. If uh, for all x and y in their range, the joint density is the product of the marginal densities. So this is basically the same as the discrete case, except with f's instead of p's. Um, and recall that the joint range is uh, the set of x, y, where the density is strictly greater than 0. So here's how we go from discrete to continuous. So the p x y of x and y is the probability x equals x and y is y, but the density at x and y is not the probability because the, these, this probability is always 0 because they're continuous. Um, the double sum over all values of the joint p and f is 1. The double integral has to be 1. And the marginal p and f is the sum over y. And the pdf is the integral over y, and so on. So th these are all like basically the same, except with sums instead of integrals instead of sums. So we'll do an example now. Suppose x, y are jointly and uniformly distributed on the circle of radius r, centered at the origin. So for example, a dart throw. We're going to set up but not evaluate any of our answers, and taking care, especially in setting up the limits of integration. So first, let's find and sketch the joint range. So here is the joint range. So this is what a dartboard looks like. Uh, the set of possible values that the dart can land, assuming we always hit the dartboard, is uh, all the points x and y such that x squared plus y squared is less than or equal to r squared. That's the equation of a circle, except inside. Uh, the top half is y equals squ positive square root of r squared minus x squared, and the bottom half is y is negative square root of r squared minus x squared. Now let's find that expression for the joint density function and carefully define it for all x, y, and r. So the joint PDF um, is saying that the, so the integral over this area has to be 1. So uh, whatever the area of this circle is, which is uh, pi r squared, uh, the height, so this is kind of like a cylinder. So this is the base on the ground. And since it's uniformly distributed, so we have to have the same height everywhere, and I can't draw the third dimension. So this height has to be the same independent of x and y. So it's the same value, and it's going to be, if I want the volume of the cylinder to be 1, and the volume of the cylinder is base times height, and the base is pi r squared, then the height has to be 1 over pi r squared. Now we'll find the range of x, and write an expression that we can find uh, the marginal PDF. So the range of x, x can be anywhere from negative r to r, and the marginal PDF says, the formula says we need to integrate over all possible values of y. And for each particular x, like let's say we're at this x here, our y's will travel from negative square root of r squared minus x squared to positive square root of r squared minus x squared. So the, um, this is from uh, multi multi multivariable calculus that you only integrate over this part. And now let z be the distance from the center that the dart falls. Let's find the range of z and find an expression for e of z. So z, the possible values of the distance from the center is anywhere from 0 if you're perfectly at the middle, or r if you're on the edge. So that's the um, range. And z is actually the square root of x squared plus y squared. That's just the definition of distance, Euclidean distance. And so the expected value of z, so we're going to have uh, this g of xy, which is square root of x squared plus y squared, times the density of dy dx. But we'll make sure to set up the right integrals. So every for x, x goes from negative r to r. And for every x, uh, y only goes from here to here, as we showed earlier. So make sure to set up this inter integral carefully. And then are x and y independent? So no, their joint range is not a rectangle. And the reason why is if you take a point that was supposed to be in the rectangle but uh, isn't, so like here, the joint PDF is 0 because it's not shaded. But the marginal PDF here is like the probability, the density of x here, which is like this slit here. And the density of y is this slit here, because we're integrating this way. And so the product of the marginal PDFs is actually strict, is strictly positive, even though the joint density is 0. And here's another example you can work through on your own time.